Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I'm going to call this class just a free flow. So we're going to be moving our bodies in all different planes. We're going to be moving from the front of the mat to the back of the mat and we're just going to move our bodies and we're going to feel good. So we're going to get started in seated. So you can just come to the top of your mat, <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall. You can cross your legs in front of you. Hands are going to go onto the knees, roll the shoulders back and down, find a spot in front of you to gaze, take a big breath in, and then as you breathe out, close your eyes. Let your breaths get a little bit longer. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let the shoulders drop away from the ears. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And keep this flow with your breath. bringing our awareness to our breathing so that all the other thoughts that typically pinball around in our heads, they're not there because we're, our awareness is on our breath. We're grounded down through our sit bones, grounded in this moment, not worried about what's next, not worried about what we've done today or what we did yesterday, but we're just here right now present connecting inwards instead of out and taking in our senses so maybe feeling the air on your skin hearing the noises around you or your audible breath Allow your mind and your breath to slow down. Breathe in. Breathe out. And just let go of anything that you're worrying about, that you have anxiety about, or that you're stressing over, knowing that it's actually not in our control. So to just to be there for it. Reach your arms up overhead as you breathe in. And then take your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Breathe in as you reach up overhead. Connect the palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Feel the expansion of your belly and your chest as you keep that connection with your breath. And then take your hands out in front of you. Elbows connect, hands go up. We're gonna take an inhale as we goal post our arms out to the side, squeezing through the shoulders, pressing through the chest, keeping that belly drawn in. And then exhale as we bring them back together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, connect the hands and the elbows. Inhale, open. Exhale, come together. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, come together. Take your hands down onto your knees, draw your elbows in, press your chest forward, drop your head back and breathe in. And then exhale, round in the back, draw the elbows apart, draw that chin in towards the chest. Inhale, drop your Head back and press your chest forward. Elbows come in, exhale round. Elbows come apart. Draw that belly in towards the spine. One more time, inhale. Press forward, exhale round. Come all the way back up. Plant your hands down, step back into downward facing dog. Bicycling the knees left and right. Ground down through your hands and your feet. Alternate pressing the heels down, 
Lifting up through the hips, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Let your cheeks hang. And we're gonna shift forward to plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, shifting to plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg rises, three-legged down dog. Inhale to plank. And then exhale to three-legged down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale. Press that heel up towards the ceiling. Inhale, plank. Exhale, three-legged down dog. This time we're going to shift forward to plank. Draw the right knee to the right tricep can always drop to your left knee to modify. Inhale, take the foot back up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. As high up in the armpit as you can get the knee. Inhale. Two more. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, foot goes back up. And then exhale, take the right knee over to the left tricep. Inhale, press the foot back up. One more time, exhale it over to the left tricep. Step back, downward facing dog, bicycle the knees left and right. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Left leg rises, shift to plank on your inhale. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Inhale to plank. Try to keep the hips nice and even. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, three-legged down dog. You can continue with this flow, or as you breathe out, take the left knee to the left tricep. Coming into your high plank, inhale, press the foot back up. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, exhale, crunch in. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, take that foot back up. Two times, exhale the left knee over to the right tricep. Stay connected with your breath. Inhale as that foot goes up. Exhale over to the right tricep. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Look up between your thumbs, walk your feet to your hands. Coming into a forward fold, make two fists and circle out your wrist in both directions. Keep a bend at the knees if you need to, but let the head hang heavy. Bend at the knees, rise to stand, breathe in, exhale, fold forward, reach down for the toes. Half lift as you breathe in, high plank as you breathe out. Big breath in, exhale, chaturanga, you can always drop to your knees to modify. Drop your belly to the ground, lift your chest, come up cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, look up between your thumbs. As you breathe out, walk your feet to your hands, forward fold, half lift, breathe in, fold as you breathe out. Rise to stand, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale, high plank, exhale. Breathe in, chaturanga as you breathe out. Drop your belly to the ground, lift your chest, come up cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, big breath in. Look up between your thumbs, and as you breathe out, feet come to the hands. Half lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Bend at the knees, rise to stand, mountain pose. Big breath in. Fold as you breathe out. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. You can walk or step your feet back, lowering down, cobra, or upward facing dog as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Big breath in, take a big bend at the knees, and then as you exhale, take your feet to your hands, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, fold on your exhale. Rise to stand, inhale, fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Step or hop the feet back. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Big bend at the knees, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take your feet to your hands, forward fold, half lift, breathe in, fold, exhale, rise to stand, inhale, 
chair pose, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. See if you can sink two inches deeper in your hips, wiggling your toes up off of the mat, drawing the belly in towards the spine and then sinking just a little bit deeper. Breathe in, reach up, fold as you breathe out. Half lift, breathe in, chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra or up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Right leg rises, three legged down dog. And as you exhale, draw your knee into your chest, round in your back, and then take that foot up between your thumbs. Stay on the ball of the back foot and rise up for a crescent lunge. Hips are squared forward. And act like someone's taking your hands and pulling them up towards the sky. Right knee stays right over the ankle. Breathe in, reach up. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Cobra or up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg rises. As you breathe out, draw the knee into the chest and take that foot up in between your thumbs. Reach the hands up towards the sky, crescent lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach those hands up. Breathe in, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. Down dog, breathe out. Right leg rises, breathe in. Take that foot up between your thumbs as you breathe out. Spin that left heel down and windmill the arms for warrior two. Squeeze through the shoulders, breathe in. Sink a little bit deeper, breathe out. Draw that belly in, breathe in. Breathe out. Hands come to our heart. We're gonna bend at the left knee and take the hips over by the left heel, straightening out the right leg. Side lunge, stay up nice and tall. And take your hands over around the left foot, come into a lunge position facing the back of the mat. Keep the right hand down and the left hand goes up towards the ceiling. Draw the belly in, high lunge twist. Squeeze through that right thigh. We're gonna come into a side plank. So spin onto the side of the right foot, option to just stack the left foot on top of the right, or maybe you grab onto the left big toe with your index and middle finger and take that left foot up towards the ceiling. Or you can always take it to your knee, your left hand to your left knee. Stay here in your side plank. Gaze stays either down towards the right thumb or just off of the mat. And then take this left foot behind you down onto the ground and lift up through the right hip coming into wild thing. and then slowly lower your hips down onto the mat. Take your left foot, cross it over on the other side of your right knee. Reach your left hand behind you and your right elbow goes to the outside of the left knee. Look back towards your left hand and then come to center, inhale, boat pose. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe you extend up one leg at a time, keeping the spine tall. Don't hold your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming, crossing the legs, planting the hands down, taking downward facing dog, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Big breath in as you bend at both knees. And then as you breathe out, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Option to stay here in the forward fold. Maybe you shake out the wrist and do some circles with each one or plant your hands down, put your knees up onto your armpits and then lift up one foot at a time, coming into crow pose. If you're new to crow, you can take your block, take your feet onto your block so you have a little bit of lift. Gaze stays forward. We're not looking back at our feet. Engage your pelvic floor and maybe just lift up one foot up off of the block at a time. And then take your feet down onto the mat. Forward fold, head hangs heavy, shake it around. Chair pose, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
big breath in sink into your lowest chair breathe in forward fold breathe out half lift inhale chaturanga exhale cobra or up dog breathe in downward facing dog breathe out left leg rises crescent lunge left side so take that foot up between your thumbs reach your hands up coming into warrior two spin that right heel down take the arms out to the side three breaths breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out stay connected here breathe in breathe out hands come to heart center bend at the right knee begin to straighten out the left leg for a side lunge and take your hands around the right foot turn towards the back of the mat keep the left hand down and reach the right hand up squeeze through the left thigh draw that belly in towards the spine left hand and foot stay where they're at take your side plank so right foot can stack on top of the left or maybe that right big toe goes around up towards the ceiling keep your gaze Keep the connection with your breath. Take the right foot behind you, lift up through the left hip and reach the right arm overhead, wild thing. Take the hips down onto the mat, keep the left leg straight, take the right foot on the outside of that left knee. Right arm reaches behind you and left hand goes to the outside of the right knee. Turn back towards the back of the mat. And then slowly come back to center, straighten out both legs. Take your hands behind you, fingertips are facing towards your feet, and then lift the hips up towards the ceiling for reverse plank. You can always take a reverse tabletop. Lifting up through the hips and draw your chin in towards your chest and only drop your head back if it feels good. I like to keep my chin in. We're just in a neutral neck position. Lift up a little bit higher and then take the hips down, reach the arms up overhead, breathe in, fold as you breathe out. Reach for your toes or grab me, grab onto the backs of the knees. Coming all the way back up, lift the feet up, boat pose. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, extend out, feet and shoulder blades hover just above the mat, and then exhale, come up, half boat. Breathe in, extend, exhale, half boat. Three more, you can always hang out right here. Breathe in as you extend, exhale as you contract up. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Sitting up nice and tall, cross your feet, plant your hands chaturanga cobra or up dog breathe in downward facing dog breathe out right leg rises take the right foot up in between your thumbs crescent lunge right side draw the belly in warrior two side lunge hands come to heart center shift your hips over to the left foot Walk your hands up towards the top of the mat. Step back to your high plank, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, crescent lunge, left side. Reach the arms up, warrior two. Side lunge towards that right foot. And then this time take your hands down onto the side of the mat, lift the hips up towards the ceiling and turn all 10 toes to the right side of the mat. Head drops down. You can take your hands onto a block here, you can reach them for your feet, you can clasp your hands behind your back and open up through your shoulders. But find a spot to gaze. Maybe you take an inversion, taking your head down, taking either tripod headstand or regular headstand, maybe forearm stand. Just be where you are. If 
feet are in the air. We're slowly coming back down. Walk your hands over towards the right foot. Step back for three-legged down dog. Right leg rises up towards the sky. Shift to plank. Keeping the right foot lifted and then lower halfway. Cobra or up dog with that right leg lifted. Three-legged down dog. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift that hip up, or that foot up towards the sky, the heel. And then exhale, half pigeon. Right knee goes towards the right wrist. Come onto the side of the shin. Right thigh is parallel with the side of the mat. Right ankle is flexed. We're sitting up nice and tall. And then as you breathe out, you can gently fold forward. You can take your elbows onto a block here. You can take your forehead onto your block. Connect with your breath. Feel the air on your skin. Notice what thoughts are running through your head and allow them to slow down. It's just the practice of over and over again, trying to clear our minds, being aware of our thoughts, noticing them, so we can be present, not all consuming in our thoughts. Each exhale you take, that right hip opens up a little bit more And then very slowly come all the way up. We're gonna keep the right hip down, swing this left leg around, <laughs> straightening it out and take the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Reach the arm up, arms up towards the sky. And then fold as you breathe out over that left leg. You can look towards the toes, keeping the spine nice and tall. You can grab onto the back of the thigh. <laughs> you can use a strap here to find a nice hamstring and calf stretch. If you want even more, you can always take a block at the end of your foot to have a little bit more length on the leg. <clears throat> and then slowly rise all the way up, switching legs. Right leg extends long. Reach the arms up, breathe in. Left foot's on the inside of that right thigh, folding forward as you breathe out. Slowly coming all the way up. Left hand comes behind you. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling and then ground into the side of the left shin as you lift that right hip up towards the ceiling. Opening up through the heart. Slowly taking the hips back down, extend through the left leg. Right foot goes to the inside of the left thigh. Take the right arm behind you, reach the left arm up overhead and lift the left hip up towards the ceiling, opening up through the heart. And then slowly coming all the way down, we're going to take the right foot underneath our left bottom, just a little bit. Right knee faces forward and left knee is going to cross over the right. You can always take the left ankle onto the right knee, sit up nice and tall, breathe in, keep both ankles flexed and then just a gentle fold forward as you breathe out. One more breath, breathe in, breathe out. Very slowly come all the way up, switching legs, left leg comes under. We're stacking the knees here 
ankles stay flexed. You can always take the right ankle on top of that left knee. Keep your spine tall. Breathe in as you reach up. Fold as you breathe out. One more breath of breathe in, breathe out. Slowly rise all the way up. We're gonna turn to our left, take our hands to the top of the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Left leg rises, breathe in, shift to your plank. You can take that foot down if you need to, or we can keep it lifted, lowering halfway, chaturanga, cobra, or upward facing dog. With that left leg lifted, three-legged down dog breathe out breathe in as you lift that heel up towards the sky and then take your half pigeon on the left side left thigh is parallel with the side of the mat hips are even you can always take a block underneath your hip that left hip if you need a little bit of support if there's a big gap between your hip and the ground Another variation to pigeon is always lying down on your back and crossing your ankle over your knee, just like so, drawing the knee into the chest. <laughs> Taking your half pigeon, slowly fold forward. Keep the connection with your breath. You have to be still. Each exhale, finding a little bit of a deeper stretch in that left hip. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Find that length in your breath, breathe in. Exhale, sigh it out. Slowly rise all the way up. Plant your hands down, take a downward facing dog. Drop to your knees, connect your knees and your feet together and take your bottom back over your heels for a child's pose with your knees together. We're going to breathe in, coming up to a tabletop, shifting the hips forward. Hands are right underneath the shoulders, and then we're going to lower for a baby chaturanga on our knees. And then exhale back to child's pose. Heels are down, the butt goes towards the heels. Inhale as we shift forward, lowering halfway. Feet can come up off of the mat. And then exhale, child's pose. Flow with your breath. Inhale, baby chaturanga. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, chaturanga on our knees. Exhale, child's pose. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, come up to your tabletop, drop your belly, lift your chest, look forward. And then exhale round in your back. And then just wiggle your hips side to side. Kind of maybe rounding on one side and then the other, letting the head hang heavy. Just move side to side. Very organically. Just do what feels good to your body. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Big bend at your knees and then walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. Make two fists with your hands and kind of do some circles with the wrists. Bend at the knees, chair pose, draw that belly in. And then exhale, sink one third of your way down to the ground. Breathe in. Exhale, lower two thirds of your way down. Inhale, lower the bottom all the way down to the mat. Lie down on your back. 
draw your knees into your chest. Plant your feet down, hip width distance apart. Draw your heels in towards your hips. And then lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Bridge pose. Reaching for the heels maybe, or clasping your hands underneath your back. Draw that belly in towards the spine, but feel your belly expand as you breathe in. And exhaling, your belly collapses down. Slowly lower the hips down, windshield wiper the knees left and right. And then take your feet straight up towards the ceiling. Draw that belly button down towards the spine and press your low back into the mat. Hands can go underneath the low back, squeeze the thighs together. Inhale, lower the feet to hover just above the mat. And then exhale, bring them back up. Inhale, as they lower, exhale, come up. Inhale, and then exhale, rise. Try to keep that low back pressed down onto the mat. Exhale, come up. Five more, inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, rise. Inhale. Exhale, bring the feet up. Inhale, take the feet to hover just above the mat. Take your chin up off the, of the mat, the back of your neck up off of the mat, looking towards your feet. And then draw your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Three rolls forward and backwards. You can grab onto the back of the thighs, rolling up and down your spine. Then cross your feet, plant your hands. Take Chaturanga. Or just head right into downward facing dog. Option to run through your vinyasa. Drop to your knees. Walk your hands towards your knees. Come all the way up. Take your hands to your low back. Fingertips are pointing down. We want to keep that core engagement even as we come into a heart opener. Take your hands to your low back and just begin to shift your hips forward. You can keep the tops of your feet pressing into the mat, or you can tuck your toes, just come into a little bit baby camel at first. Chin is up, so we're looking up towards the ceiling, squeezing the elbows towards one another. Maybe you reach one hand back for a heel, and you come back, taking the other hand to the other heel, and you come back to center. If you have two blocks, you can also take your blocks down by your ankles and open up through your heart this way. Maybe you take both hands back towards your heels. And again, just like when we were in our reverse plank or our tabletop, you don't have to drop your head back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come all the way up. Take downward facing dog. Keep the right hand down and take the left hand on the outside of the right leg. Look up underneath the armpit. Draw that belly in. So you can grab onto the thigh, the shin, and work your way down towards the ankle. Left hand grounds down, right hand goes to the outside of the left leg. Look up under the left armpit. And then slowly come back down, word facing dog. Take a tabletop position, untuck your toes, sit down onto your heels, take a clasp behind your back with your hands and just open up through your heart, rocking side to side. Squeeze through your shoulder blades. Press your hands back a little bit further. Keep those hands going left and right. Three more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come into your tabletop, cross your feet, sit down onto your bottom, extend your legs out in front of you, squeeze through your thighs, reach your arms up, and then very slowly go all the way down onto your back, reaching the arms up overhead. Stretch from your fingertips all the way through to your feet. And take your arms down by your side, palms are facing up, final pose our Savasana. You can always place your feet flat on the mat if this is a little bit easier on your low back, or you can connect the soles of your feet and take the knees out. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. And let your arms and your legs feel heavy. Connect back with your breath. And bringing in what you need to bring in. And letting go of what you need to let go of. This is your final reset. Knowing that whatever is in your life at this moment was put there for a reason and that you can handle whatever it is just by changing the way that you look at it or maybe changing your attitude towards it. Knowing that whatever you let affect you, you are letting it affect you. You can also not let it affect you. Just finding that control over our emotions. And that comes with being present, knowing ourselves, letting go of what no longer serves us. Breathe in, breathe out. Slow breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it at the top. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it at the top. Exhale, let go. Feel a sense of peace and calm. Rush over your body, 